Hello and welcome to Catching the Wave, week two, where we explore priorities. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Something happened. I came across Try Praying Booklet at a hard time in my life. I'd recently suffered an ectopic pregnancy and was absolutely devastated. I felt lost, like I had nowhere to turn, no hope. I saw a Try Praying banner at the church and thought, well, why not? Something changed for me in that moment. I asked God to help me, to make me stronger and prayed for my lost little one. I felt different after, like a weight had been lifted. Suddenly I knew it was going to be okay. It was almost like a light was being switched on. Since then, I feel like my eyes have been opened and I feel like that there are signs all around me that God exists and that he hears us. Breath. We can see from the Gospels that prayer was a priority for Jesus. He rose early to pray. He ensured he had time alone with God. He devoted considerable time to praying before making decisions. The disciples must have often watched Jesus pray. As the hours slipped by, they became intrigued by his concentration and intimate communion with the Father. Prayer was the breath that Jesus breathed and the driving force of his life. Later on, it became so with the disciples. They all joined together constantly in prayer. Night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers from 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 3. Prayer has always been a primary mark of the saints of God in every generation. John Wesley spent two hours daily in prayer and commonly said that God does nothing but in answer to prayer. What's important, however, is not how long we pray, but that when we pray, we meet with God. Prayer is something we can learn to do during the day's activities as well as separate from them. However, in our busy lives, we somehow find it difficult to make time for what we know to be the most important activity of all, taking time out with God. Brother Lawrence, a 17th century monk who lived in France, wanted to pray without ceasing, and yet he had his daily duties to perform. His answer was to make all of his life a prayer and to be continually aware of God's presence. Everything he did was to the glory of God. He felt the presence of God, whether he was working in his kitchen or worshipping in his church. So for your prayer life, can it become more like your breath, continually happening? Our prayer focus is on business. Businesses are the wealth creators and employers in our society. Perhaps more than ever we need to pray for them as recession bites deeper and unemployment and bankruptcy figures rise. The pressure is on. Pray for honesty and creativity for businesses. Pray that people will find new areas in which to trade and new resources for their business. Pray for harmony in industrial relations and the prospering of businesses under the hand of God. This is a good time for the nation to learn that man does not live on bread alone. Pray that our love affair with money, excess and indulgence will end. Pray for those known to you who have responsibility in business, that they will discover the favour of God as they act justly, love mercy and walk humbly with God. Pray especially for God's provision for those who are unemployed. Welcome to day five of Catching the Wave. 
Today we are exploring seeking. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all that he had and bought that field. Again the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Matthew chapter 13 verses 44 to 46. Imagine finding a treasure chest overflowing with gold coins and precious gems. It's the stuff of fairy tales. It's the day, the moment your life changes forever. From now on, you can buy whatever your heart desires. Go to anywhere in the world, first class, and lavish wonderful gifts on all of your friends. Fantastic. This is how Jesus describes the kingdom of God. A treasure in a field or a pearl of great price. Nothing is ever the same once we have found this treasure. The man in Jesus' parable was lucky. He almost stumbled upon the treasure. He knew he had found something more valuable than everything he owned. So he was willing to sell everything to gain this treasure. It was not a financial risk. It was astute. It was the same with the merchant. All he had was less than the value of that one pearl. Selling everything to get the pearl was a bargain. Why do we seek God? Why do we spend time like this? Why are we willing to pray or fast? Is it because we think it's just something we should do? A worthwhile process to fine tune our spiritual lives? If so, then we've missed the point. When Jesus speaks about prayer, he talks about persistence in asking, knocking and seeking, taken from Luke chapter 11, verses 9 to 13. That is because there's something to be given, a door to be opened and something to be received. It's not just a process, it achieves something, treasure. The best thing that we can ever achieve in life is to know God. All that we have pales into insignificance compared to the abundant life he provides for us. He is the greatest treasure this life has to offer. He is worth seeking. And so we come now to a time of prayer. Let us pray. Pray for people in your church or friendship group to experience a breakthrough in their relationship with Christ, finding a deeper appreciation of God in prayer or some greater experience of the power of the Holy Spirit in their lives. Pray this for yourself too. Check your value system, Jesus said, where your treasure is. There your heart will be. Matthew chapter 6 verse 21. Where is your heart? Worldly goods will never satisfy and they all need to be placed after the pursuit of God. Pray for your church that the immense value of the kingdom of God will be seen in the services this Sunday. Pray that people will be drawn to make astute life choices to pursue Christ. Pray for our society that the emptiness of materialism will be exposed rather than exalted in the media this week. And continue to pray for the big issues in this world and in your life. Pray for three of your friends and pray for a new wave of revival. Amen.